And those images by all the candidates are looked at separately during the day. Like in the middle of the day, they take a break in the during process and they look at all the candidates' work. And then they... Uh, so you get them when they're fresh. You get the judge's well, attention. Well, yeah, before they're, they're too tired. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and then I think uh, maybe half the candidates get in. You know, I'm not sure how many candidates they had this year, but a lot of people did get in this year, like 19. Um, and, uh, you know, for that, it has to be unanimous. I mean, uh, you know, they have to all... And how many judges are there? Five. And I think for the, no, you know, for the general uh, jurying, they don't have any discussion, really. They just vote yes or no. They don't look at each other. They have like a, a button that they push and somebody in the back can register their vote, but there's no discussion. And how many, how many people jury just to get into the show? Uh, about, it varies from year to year, but anywhere between 1,200 and 1,500. Oh. And how many votes mm -hmm. do you have to, I mean, how Well, you usually you have to, to get in to the general jurying. You have to get five or four votes. If you only get three, you probably won't get in. Oh my you know? God. And the, the jurors are chosen by being nominated by the membership. So there's a new set of jurors each year. You know, there are five jurors, but one of them is always the president. Uh, and he can be like a tiebreaker. Uh, but um, Are they getting any younger, the judges? Yeah, there are some young people. Yeah, I mean, uh, what I was told is that the five jurors, they can vary in their taste tremendously. Mm -hmm. So that makes it kind of tough for one painting to get the vote of all five people. Oh, right. You know, yeah. It's a pretty fair system. People have often thought it wasn't fair and that there was a lot of politics involved. And I, I do know that for the annual show, there are about 10 spots that are taken up by honorary, a honorary kind of situation. So the three awards jurors, who are different than the five selection jurors, oh, okay. they automatically get a painting in the show. Mm -hmm. I think the president automatically gets a painting in the show. There are a few, a few kind of um, emeritus people, like Serge Hollerback, who always get a painting on the show. Uh, and these people are eligible for awards, except for the awards jurors. They're not eligible for, for awards. Uh, the five jurors might, I forget now, but they might all automatically get a painting in the show. Mm -hmm. So and how many paintings are in the show? About 100, 110. Okay. So out of those, about 10 spots are going to be taken up each year by honorary. Right. You know. so, so you're a member now for life, but that doesn't mean you're going to get into the show. No, later. not at all. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's very frustrating. There's about 500 members, right? Wow. wow. And, you know, oh my God. So, you know, they, um, it's a struggle even for members to get in. Wow. You know, there, it's not true that members' works are looked at first for the okay. jury. I think they're all jumbled up. Members, non-members, and associate members are all jumbled up. And, you know, the when the jury is done, is done, the name of the artist is not given, nor the title of the picture. Mm -hmm. But people um, recognize it. But people, yes, yeah, certainly there's going to be some recognition of styles, and if the signature is big enough, people are going to be able to read it. But, um, uh, the only question the people can ask, the jurors can ask, is how big is it? Mm -hmm. How big is that image? Because when it's displayed on a, mm -hmm. on a screen, you mm -hmm. don't really know. Right. You know. Right. Uh, so I think that's the only question they can ask. So they don't know the title. Right. So you can't submit something yeah. that depends on the title. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, forget that. If they yeah. got a real clever title that kind of explains the picture, it doesn't matter. Interesting. You know. mm -hmm. It is fascinating. Yeah, it is. They do it for people who are not members. What I, if you're if you're not a member? Do they ask you to submit, or can you just submit? Anybody can submit. Anybody can. In, it's international too. I mean, anybody in the world can submit. So, um, oh, I like the stripes. Yeah. Yes, I, I think the salt and pepper shaker are going to look nice. And the shadows are so good. Yeah, the shadows. It's the shadows. It's an actual yes. gold. Oh, I think mm -hmm. it just really yeah, mm -hmm. yeah glows. Oh, glows. Yeah. yeah. You know, one thing you learn is when you're painting white objects, like 
in the photo, the shadows don't look that warm. You know, they look uh, cooler. But there's something about a white object, like a white painted house on the shadow side. It always looks better if you put a little yellow or brown into the shadow, mm -hmm. along with blue. Mm -hmm. You know, you can make the shadow bluish, but put a tinge of brown or yellow in there somewhere. It always looks much more real somehow. Okay, let me work on the um, pepper shaker. I think we need that. <laughs> From back there, I'm thinking, oh, who needs that now? I never even, hadn't even started it. It's kind of complicated. Hmm. Well, again, I'm going to simplify it a bit. Um, I think I'm going to do it in several different washes. I'm going to start with uh, kind of a warm wash. Maybe I'll use some of that good old quinacridone gold along the top here. Now, you know, I'm not one of these people that has a piece, a test sheet that I touch first, you know. I just touch the, the paper. And if I don't think it's the right color, I'll have a paper towel handy and I can immediately blot it off, you know. So why waste my paint? <laughs> well, it's not a question of wasting, but it's just an extra step I don't think I need is to, you know, well, you've touch it. long enough to exactly. you know right. too. So. Right. right, I kind of know what to expect. And, you know, if I see a little bit of color somewhere, I might heighten it a little bit. I might exaggerate it a little bit. So I see kind of a warm color. Uh, this could be a reflection from the carrots. Mm -hmm. So I might just leave oh, right. it that, like that. Yeah. No, that's okay. I'm trying to, you know, I don't have any masking fluid on here, so I'm trying to paint around some of the little highlights and just, you know. Um, I found myself doing. It's easy to. Oops, wrong one. I know, exactly. <laughs> it's so easy to do that. you got to really keep looking back and forth, back and forth. Somebody was telling me that, you know, Artist Daily, they had a, um, that you get by email mm -hmm. from, that comes from North Light, I think, mm -hmm. or, is that where it comes from? No, uh, inter interweave? Or, or yeah, but that's, the, that's, that's the new North word Light. for North Light. Oh, right. is it? Yeah. I didn't know right. that. That's the publisher. I'll be done, because I go with Knitting Daily TV, too, which is right. also right. the same. Yeah, interweave has a lot of craft things. Yeah. You know, so, anyway, they had a, they actually had videos of Monet painting. No, okay. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. I didn't I see didn't, it. I didn't click I on it, go but I saw look. that it was there. I was trying right. to Right, I haven't clicked on it yet, mm -hmm. but I've got to go back and look at it now because apparently he's there in his garden, you know, mm -hmm. Giver, Giver, yeah. Giverne or whatever, and painting, and he's looking up and down. Oh, yeah. oh that's where <laughs> I was just trying to think where I heard it, that some people hardly ever look at their paint that they're referencing. Yeah. And some people are constantly checking it. Like mm -hmm. every yeah, right. that's right. the problem I have. I get so involved in painting, I forget, mm -hmm. to look forget at that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I, you know, when I'm looking at the painting, I'm trying to make the paint look pleasing. Mm -hmm. uh, and but then I check the reference to make sure I'm putting it in the right place. You know, so uh, yes, you do have to pay attention to what the paint. And if if there's something you can do to make the paint effects look pleasing, mm -hmm. do it. You know, like blending the colors here. You know. Um, letting them blend together by themselves and uh, now I'm, I'm gonna leave this and then come back and paint those darks that I see in a minute uh, I can't really do them right now except for maybe this one on the bottom because I have to let that dry first but yeah actually I see the whole rim of this salt shaker is a little bit of a orangey warm color and again, I bet it's just reflecting the beets or the carrots, you know. There's a lot of that in there. But then on the other side, it's more of a blue reflection because there are no beets over there, no carrots. In the photograph, which I can't see from here, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. <coughs> is there a surface <coughs> edge behind the salt <coughs> shader? Uh, the surface or is it all flat? Is well, it? this is a blanket. It's actually a fleece blanket that I draped over a chair. Mm -hmm. And it has some rolls, like uh, drapery curves in it, that I'm not painting in. 
I, I just put it there to get something black behind the mason jar. Well, you know, you know, it, you're painting right now because you haven't finished it. Mm -hmm. it the salt shaker, salt mm -hmm. sh shaker, sort of floats. Yeah, yeah. I was right, just wondering, right, you know, what right, the background right. actually. If yeah, there was a differentiation. Is, well, I'm probably going to have to kind of anchor it a little bit. Yeah, with a, a dark shadow under it. Even though it's already on something dark, I could, I could sort of anchor it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll try to get that. I see what you're saying. That could be a. Uh, that How are you going to get darker than I told you there? No, we don't. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I could. I could actually use black, mm -hmm. and it might look darker. None of these are. No, it's no. Yeah, no. Okay. And, and it's not like the And you want the shadows to be dark. Don't want the shadows because it doesn't go under. There's two on it. Reflections. The reflections are dark. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm going to go into a little brown or the pepper. pepper shaker has a light part, so I'm hoping that's going to mm -hmm. make it look like it's sitting on something. Well, if the dark was draped behind, what is it sitting on? Well, it's sitting on that dark blanket. Oh, I it's see. on, see, there was a dining room table, uh, when most of the objects are on top of the towel. Yes. Right. Uh, but, it's not. yeah, so that looks like it's floating. Right. Okay. Yeah, I see what you're I saying. Still like it, so yeah. I, I should have put it on top of the towel. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Too late. I know. I can't really well, fix that one. That's <laughs> what's not perfect. Yeah. Right. So we know God didn't paint <laughs> or set it up. We are the only ones who will notice that because we saw the photograph. Mm, yeah. People looking at the painting. Yeah. Hopefully they, they won't think about that. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's anchoring it, helping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, it's sitting down now. Hmm. How about that? Interesting. It's funny because I'm up too close to it, so I uh -huh. can't see these problems quite as much. Although when I got up earlier and looked at it, it's I did. Marvelous. That's why I, I kept saying I gotta paint that pepper shaker because <laughs> I knew it looked weird. <laughs> Sitting there like it's that. Such a marvelous view to see it in the mirror. Okay. Just after you go away, you just draw it. Just sit back and look uh, at it for a while, and then try to figure out where you're going to go with it. Or do you have to yeah. find out before you? Well, no. I mean, before I start to paint, I I do. I lie down on the couch with the photograph, and I just study the photograph for mm -hmm. about half an hour, mm -hmm. and ask myself, well, what do I want to do with this? You know, and oh. how? What am I going to emphasize? And what? Is it, you know, what am I going to change and mm -hmm. stuff like that, so. So while you're mm -hmm. in the process of painting, um, when you're not painting for us, mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. often do you step away from it? Oh, more often, yeah. Like every time I dry it, mm -hmm. I will set it up and... And do you, um, when you're by yourself, do you paint sitting down? Yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. Both, standing and sitting. Mm -hmm. I usually, actually, I usually paint standing up. Here? But, yeah, right, like this, you know. Like this. And that's but I'm not, afraid I'm going to block the view. Yeah, yeah. But that's not <laughs> awkward for you, like. Not that there. bad. Luckily, I don't have any back trouble it's now. Mm -hmm. You know, years ago, I used to have some lower back problems, and oh. that was a pain to right. have to lean way over. Because yeah, some people yeah. like painting on their kitchen counters mm -hmm. because yeah, you know, it's it's better. Better. Yeah. yeah, I've seen. You know what you can do? This is very clever. I saw somebody at a workshop. Sharon Green had this one time. She had a big cardboard box turned upside down. Well, so it was open. Right. And she had cut the sides mm -hmm. to form a kind of an easel, oh, and then propped the board up in it like this. Oh, yeah. So the so board was at easel. just the right height. Yeah, that's brilliant. I know. It was. Yeah, because I'm always getting books. I'm like looking for big yeah. fat books. Yeah. Well, that's why. Right. 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 This is why this has to be part of your painting kit. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm always grabbing stuff. And, you know. So that does help. And the other thing it helps with is it brings the painting more into my mm -hmm. range uh -huh. of view. You know, the thing about that would be nice about painting on an easel is that you're always looking at the painting straight up. Straight on. Right. You know, you know what I did the Charles Reed run on an easel, and I mm -hmm. found it really hard to control, control yeah, know, certain think, strokes yeah. because yeah. I'm just so used to being able to do it this mm -hmm. way. And when you tr it was just yeah. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I should have tried that. standing up. There's no question because I hold the brush back farther. Right, 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 right. Yeah, <laughs> but probably so easier to paint looser. Standing, I'm thinking. Yeah, right. It's, well, when I do a really big painting, I'm definitely standing most of the time, you know. But um, the cardboard box, that's a great idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. Maybe the next class I'll make one of those and <laughs> yeah. demonstrate it because it's a very clever idea. It's a good way to solve that whole different problem. Yeah, because I've been thinking about getting a table easel and I'm sort of like, oh, yeah. one more thing. I got one. one. I got this little table easel down, easel down there. Fifty dollars yeah. at Plaza, mm -hmm. and it's a nice little easel. Uh, it doesn't have any legs, but that's fine. Um, and do you use it a lot? I, I, yeah. When I'm painting by myself, I use it. Really? Yeah, I do because when I get toward the last like thirty percent of the painting process, I'm no longer doing big washes, mm -hmm. so I can paint vertically. Mm -hmm. I can put it on an easel, maybe not perfectly vertically, but you know, almost. And the paint, you're just painting small areas. So it's not going to run that much. Mary White always paints on an easel. I don't know if you know who she is. She's mm -hmm. a great watercolorist. I'm, um, she's going to be. I'm going to. I'm hoping to go in May for three or four days up to Philadelphia to the Portrait Society of America's annual conference. It's a lot of fun. She's going to be there and uh, one of the so-called faculty members. You know. And I went a couple of years ago and got to watch her paint. And she's a very good speaker, very good demonstrator. She painted a picture of Burt Silverman, mm -hmm. and she did it beautifully. I actually have a little blog article about that whole thing. It's one of my first articles about that conference. So if anybody wants to go. <laughs> There's so much. I know, there's so much happening in May. Well, yeah. springtime seems just... Yeah. For the art world, springtime uh, yeah. is Woo. crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. My father's always saying, come to Florida in April <laughs> to visit. Yeah, right. We can never, <laughs> I can never go anywhere like that in April. Just too many things. Well, April's there. pretty around here. Yeah, it is. In April. Right, like April. right, exactly. Yep. Yeah, we found, you know, Florida was nice in January. It was too cold for swimming, but... Uh, where in Florida? Venice area. That's where he lives. Uh -huh. We went there for a couple days, and then we went to uh, Disney World for a couple days. Isn't that a fun place? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I loved it. I love Disney World. Oh, which, park, love which park? Which park? You can't be an adult. Which oh, is it? The, the, no, they have so many yeah. parks there. I know. It, well, it, we uh, were, were, there were three, uh, five of us. Uh, my husband and me, my sister, Ben, and his girlfriend. Oh, and this is when you took the photos. Yeah, at the, at the Blue place. Island Cafe. Right? Oh, right. Yeah, so um, that was in Venice. But let's see. For uh, Disney World, we went to first we went to Epcot, then we went to the Animal Kingdom, and then we went to the Magic Kingdom. Mm -hmm. And we went to the Magic Kingdom on Saturday, which oh, yeah, was it was long. crowded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Even in January, it yeah, was we went crowded. Right. Yeah, you were down there at the yeah. same time. Yeah. I didn't Can I see see you, Ruth? It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. All those runners. Were Animal there. Kingdom was very impressive. It yeah. is. I love that big tree. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my God. That oh, big it's, tree yes. is amazing. Yes, it is. I kept looking in all the gift shops. I wanted a little, you know how they make resin models yeah. of mm -hmm. things like lighthouses and yeah. stuff? Yeah. I desperately wanted a little model of that tree. Mm -hmm. They didn't have any good ones. <laughs> I was surprised they did not. Um, now, notice how the salt shaker, this is kind of cool. You have some of those stripes mm -hmm. wrapping up and around in an interesting way. You really have to look at the photo up close oh, to see yeah, this. Oh, I see. This photo has it. Has it? Yeah, you can see it. This one. Oh, That's yeah, here. Oh, see the name. Right. That's it yeah. bends, it bends them. See, that is a, oh, a little detail. Yeah. That's, yeah. Even yeah. though it's yeah. not it bends very it. prominent. Yeah. Well, this yeah. one, this one. Same, Quite same thing here. Look how yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
That's something I would definitely put in here. That is a special little touch that I think this one's even more is very nice than this. this one. You can really see the stripe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. First, I'm just doing the background where, because it's, I guess it's part of the tablecloth that's kind of in the shade. Oh, thank you. This is the part of the salt. I think I gotta get a little, yeah. a little darker on this side. I like the way you put the salt so that it's it's not flat across but angled. Yeah, well I didn't plan it that way. You but, didn't? <laughs> no. No, but that's a good thing though. I like that, yeah. These salt shakers are a good still life object because they're fairly simple and interesting shape, but not too complicated. They're from I think they were from IKEA. Well, it was fun when I was doing my setup, mm -hmm. going through all my stuff, trying to pull out things. Right. Like, oh, this would be good. This right. looks so good. You and then you have this. Yeah. I have actually have to now what? <laughs> we right. could spend days doing oh, this. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of fun, though. It is fun. Yeah. You've got something wonderful, and you go print it out and think, oh, mm. no, no. <laughs> well, that's why you got to take a lot of photos from different angles, because they'll, oh, yeah. you can combine if you have to. It's right now. Oh, my three. Right. Okay, I'm not going to get too dark in there. So that's my base color. And then I, after that dries, I'm going to come and put the darks in. So let's see, what else do I need to do? I'm going to just paint the light parts of the beet that I never got around. I don't think any part of the beet is really white, you know. Even though there's sunlight on it, it's just too dark of a color to begin with to end up looking white except for that spot. But I don't know, is that too white? Do you no, think that? no, I like that. 